Why are entrepreneurs and business owners procrastinating even though it feels bad and you don't want to but you're still doing it? Well, to understand that, we gotta reverse engineer the concept of procrastination. So people usually procrastinate because they are stressed. Something stresses them. It's like a big mountain, they still have to work on that. It's something that they don't want to do, something that stresses them that is still in the back of their mind and uh, it's just something that, that is annoying. And people feel often stressed about things because they actually have a certain unclarity about that. So they don't really exactly know what the next steps are. They know they should work on this project and they should call somebody to figure something out, but they don't really know where they can find the number. They don't really know which chapter, which page they need to look this up. They don't really, it's like just, it just feels like a huge mountain of work and there's no like clear action steps for now, or at least it would cost some more work to get some more clarity. And this is already stressing people and that's why they procrastinate. That's usually, if we reverse engineer what is going on, you have roughly unclarity, it's a big new task, you don't really know, this stresses you a lot, and then you procrastinate. And the good news is, we can work on that uh, from a couple of angles. So we could, for example, start with creating some clarity. Is that goal even important? Um, do you have to do it that way? Can you do it in a different way? What are the next steps? Who can help you with that? What is the vision? What do you actually want? Is that even something that we need to need to work on? And maybe we can work on something else that serves the same purpose. But creating clarity about that, that could be the first step. And then also knowing how to deal with stress. How to be less stressed about this project. How to reframe that in a more helpful way. How to generally be more relaxed and not irritated by difficult tasks. How to let go of this habit that stress leads to avoidance because you have this habit in your, in your brain. If I'm stressed, I'm just avoiding it and I procrastinate. How can we undo this habit? And by the way, procrastination, this habit makes quite sense because who wants to put up with that? Who wants to put up with the stress? It's stressful, it's negative and you want to protect yourself from this negativity. So you do something else, you shift your attention to something else and simply do something else. And that works by the way, your stress is reduced for a short period of time. But the question is, is procrastination the most helpful strategy? Probably not. And that's why you want to work on that. Yeah, and there are a lot of strategies with stress management and there are a lot of strategies with clarity, but I think you understanding already, clarity leads to stress, stress leads to procrastination. This is very important to understand it. From there on, you quite have a lot of tools you can work on. If you're interested in some of those tools, if you wanna know how you can let go of procrastination and just do the things you wanna do, be more realistic about your schedule, take more time off and Though when you work, you more work more effectively instead of having this weird thing in between where you kind of work but you don't because you're just procrastinating and you feel bad about it. If you want to let go of that, then I suggest that we're talking. There's a link below the video. You can just sign up for a free first call with me. There we can figure out a custom strategy still for free, which will be already valuable. Um, and then at the end, we can talk about uh, the possibility of moving forward. But that's not a must have. And yeah, make use of that. Don't procrastinate. You're already procrastinating to press the link, to talk to a stranger you haven't really per talked on personally. That's stressful. Do it. Do it right now. Because for how long do you want to procrastinate? Are you actually aware of the fact of how much money you already lost because you're procrastinating the last 10 years? It's ridiculous. So let's do something about that and let's talk.